BYOD meetings for your end users just got a lot easier. Today, we're going to talk about shared display mode, a new feature just released for Microsoft Teams. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Craig Ishii, Solutions Marketing with Logitech. Microsoft Teams just came out with shared display mode, which is really going to streamline the way that BYOD meetings work for end users. Now, before we get into the details of how it works, I want to start by talking through the typical series of steps that a user has to go through when running a virtual meeting in a BYOD room. So first, what happens is that the user is going to plug in the USB cable from the camera into their laptop so they can control the room camera. Then they're going to plug in the HDMI cable from the display to their laptop so they can use the display that's in the room. Now, I do want to make a note here that Logitech does have single cable solutions that facilitate the same motion. But long story short, the user is plugging in to get control of the camera and plugging in to get use of the display. That is on the hardware side. But there's also the software side. Once plugged in, the default is that the user is going to get a mirrored screen on the television display. Now, some people like this. Some people will also opt to extend their display so they can still have a desktop for their personal use during meetings as well as one to see the meeting on screen. Now, this is exactly where some of the pain point comes in for users. To have to go into your settings and change your settings out of mirror mode is a little bit of a hassle. And also noteworthy is that in many cases, display settings are unique by display. So if a user is going to a different room or traveling to a different office space, they're going to have to toggle those display settings every time they use a new monitor. Then once the display is extended, users typically have to drag their Teams meeting window over to the in-room display. And then, of course, there are also users that don't know how to toggle this setting at all. So they're never going to be able to take advantage of an extended display. These are really some of the software pain points that Microsoft was aware of and part of the reason why they developed shared display mode. And so let's talk about what it is and what it does. Shared display mode is a way to automatically bring the Teams meeting window over to the in-room display after plugging in the in-room display and camera. Now, there's no dragging of windows. There's no need to go into settings to extend your display. And because shared display mode is strictly displaying only the Teams meeting window, the user also doesn't have to worry about pop-up notifications or other windows appearing on the television display during their meeting. So that's shared display mode. OK, so let's take a quick look at how this works. I'm going to start here with the screen share. Now, I've got my rally bar huddle in USB mode, and I've got the in-room display already connected into my computer. Then you can do this by joining a meeting. You can do it with new meetings. I'm just going to click the Meet Now button to show you that here in this room audio section, I'm just going to make sure that my rally bar huddle audio is selected. And then from there, I'm going to join the meeting. OK, so now I've got the camera set up so you can see the entire room. Let's see what happens when I start the meeting. So I'm just going to click the Join Now button. And then watch what happens to the screen behind me. Now, I'm actually going to step out of the frame here for a second so that the camera can refocus. And as it refocuses, you can see that we actually have the Microsoft Teams window on the television display right here. Now, it's important to note here that I still retain independent control of my laptop. I know that it looks the same, but it's not a screen mirror. And so I have a separate Teams window still on my laptop, so I can still toggle certain meeting controls. I can send messages and use the rest of the Teams app functionality so I can control my camera, my microphone, and share content. Now, the end user functionality is still the same, and that's the important note. But now we have this automation in place that removes the hassle or display settings and toggling. And for others who weren't even aware of extending their window or extending their desktop, it now opens up a whole new world for them during meetings. And so that's shared display mode in Microsoft Teams. It comes built into the latest build of Microsoft Teams. And so try it out. We'll see you next time.